You asked for it, you got it. Let's take a look at Remix Run on this blue collar coder and use it to build out this nifty Pokemon application. Multi-page application, you can do a search here, filter down the results, you can click on one of them and get to a secondary page where you get all the details on it. If you're going into an interview and you need a two-page application, here's a good starting point for you. And of course, it's all available to you for free on GitHub right now. Let's jump right into it. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my temp directory and then go into Remix Experiments. And then I'm gonna go over to the Remix Developer page and I'm gonna copy and paste this command line for MPX create remix. Paste that in there and hit return. And I am gonna call this remix Pokemon and we'll use the remix app server and TypeScript. And yes, I do want you to run NPM install. All right, now I'm gonna go into remix Pokemon and I'm gonna bring up VS code. All right, now from here, I'm just gonna bring up the terminal and then I'm gonna yarn dev in here and we'll see what we come up with. And there we go, looking pretty good. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna now shut down this server and I'm gonna install some dependencies. So we're gonna install Tailwind, a couple of extensions for Tailwind, some icons, and then concurrently, which we're gonna to use to run both the server and the Tailwind compiler at the same time. So really this is just about getting Tailwind installed because that's what I choose to use in terms of CSS. All right, the next thing we need to do is create a config directory. And in there, I'm gonna put a Tailwind configuration. Let's paste that in there. So we're just using basic stock Tailwind, but we're also bringing in those plugins, the aspect ratio and the forms, just so that the pictures look nice and the form looks nice. And then finally, I'm gonna alter package.json so that we replace these build and dev steps with a Tailwind build and then the build. And then also in the case of dev, we're gonna go and build concurrently the, tail, the Tailwind and the web. Okay, so there we go. That's it for that. Now let's go take a look at our app and start messing around with it. So down here in app, we've got root, and that's basically gonna have your template for your app. And so in there, I'm going to bring in a, an icon and I'm also gonna bring in that Tailwind URL with a Tailwind CSS, and I'm going to remove all the stock stuff that we get from Remix and replace the global styles URL with just our Tailwind. There we go, nice, okay. So what do we have in here? We got our app, and this is all React, so Remix runs React just fine. And we've also got our document template, so you can see cool stuff in here like like our head tag, our meta tags, title, so on and so forth. We've got a layout, we've got an error handling, trapper, catch boundary, and then finally the error boundary and the uh, Remix logo, we're not gonna need that anymore, and some other stuff. All right, it's a big boilerplate, but that's fine. All right, so let's go back over here, and what I really wanna mess around with is this layout. So I'm gonna replace all of their stock Remix app layout with my own Tailwind layout. And it basically just sets up the size of the page and puts a little header on there where we've got a link back to home using their internal spa and let navigation link stuff, which is built right in, just like you would get with something like Next.js. And then we're gonna put on there Pokemon to say what the name of the app is. And then finally, we're gonna embed any children in there with a little padding around them. So let's bring it back the server, yarn dev again, and then let's check it out. All right, you know, looking pretty good. It's basically got the stock content in there still, but now we've got our header up on top, so cool. So now we've got Tailwind installed and our header's going awesome. So next thing we need to do is bring in our list of Pokemon and our Pokemon assets. So I'm gonna create a new folder called lib. And into that, I'm going to bring this Pokemon.ts file that has a list of all of our Pokemon. It's got the name, type, attack, defense, all of that kind of stuff. And of course, all of this is on GitHub, so you don't really have to look at this and type it in for sure or not. All right, and then over in the public directory, we're also gonna to wanna to add our Pokemon assets. All right, so this would be all of the JPEGs for all the different Pokemon. They look really good. Just makes for a nice looking app. Okay, so now, next thing we wanna mess with is our index route. 
So currently this just has a nice little boilerplate in there and it actually does get some data. So if you see over here, you've got a loader function and this is what actually does the SSR preload of your data. And it's actually pretty easy. It's just an async function and then you were just to return the data when you're done. And then that comes over into the rendering component as use loader data and you give it the type and you get your data back and you render it just like that. So of course, the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is get rid of the most of this. So we're gonna get rid of all of this and replace it with an import of our Pokemon as well as the Pokemon type. And all we're gonna do is just take <laughs> the top 10 items off of our Pokemon. And then let's change out the title to Pokemon, the description to you know Pokemon page or whatever you want. And then let's go down here and we're gonna get a Pokemon array is our data. And so now down in this return statement, let's just go and remove all of that and replace it with a grid of Pokemon. So we're gonna map through each one of those Pokemon. We're gonna create an LI. It's gonna have a link using the link functionality built into Remix Run. It's gonna have an image of the Pokemon and the name. So let's take a look, see what happens. Woohoo, nice. Dear God, it's beautiful. I can even roll over these things, pretty cool. Now if I click on one, yeah, I get a 404 because it's trying to go to Pokemon Bulbasaur and it can't find that route yet. All right, nice, okay. So the next thing I wanna demonstrate is basically how to use kind of an Ajax style functionality in here to do that search part of that homepage. So we're gonna have a search bar, you're gonna be able to click search and it's going to filter down the results here so that you only see the Pokemon that you're interested in. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create an API route. So all I need to do here is create a new file We'll call it Pokemon search.tsx. And I'm gonna paste in the implementation. It's going to just have that loader function and it's going to get the request. The request is going to have a queue parameter on it. We're gonna make that lowercase. And then we're just gonna go and return JSON of the Pokemon filtered by that name. So it's you know, pretty simple stuff. Now back in over in index, we need to use use fetcher which is built into Remix Run. And we're also gonna use use memo. So if we have data from the fetcher, then we're gonna use that. If we don't have data from the fetcher, then we're gonna use our preloaded data. And yes, I'm using const here. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know why you guys use let everywhere. I use const, but okay. All right, so here we go, use fetcher. And I'll bring that in from Remix and I'll bring in use memo from React. All right, that's looking pretty good. Let's take Pokemon list and replace it for data so that once we have it, we're good. And now that we got this use fetcher, use fetcher is actually a, a pretty interesting piece of work. So it actually has a, a form component on it and we're gonna use that form to create, put a form on the page. So it's pokemon.form, you give it a method, you give it the action, you give it you know, class name if you wanna do that. In this case, I'm just adding a little bottom margin and some flex. Uh, and then I'm going to give it an input and a search field. And this is a type of submitted search. This is pretty much a standard HTML form, which is one of the unique things about Remix Run. And I'll get into that in a little bit. But here, let me save it out and let's try this out. So now we've got our Pokemon at the top. And I can type in, for example, Venus. Whoa. And get Venusaur. Let's, uh, what else can I do? I can do uh, War, I guess. Get War Turtle, whatever. Pretty cool, right? I mean, that was fast. All I had to do was basically go and create this API endpoint effectively, and then use this fetcher, take that form off there, and then point it at that action. And then from there, I get the data. So you get pokemon.data, and away you go. You can actually get status off of it and everything else. You can put on a loading indicator if you want. It's pretty nice. So let's get to implementing on clicking on, say, Ivysaur, and let's get to implementing on this route here. So currently we're doing Pokemon slash Ivysaur, and oops, it's not there. So let's get rid of this set of demos routes and then create a new folder called Pokemon. And then within that, we're gonna create a new file called $name.tsx. And that is going to basically take whatever that value is, in this case Bulbasaur, and map it to the parameter name. So let's paste in an implementation here and we can show you what this is. So we have a loader function again. In this case, it's going to take params. Those params have a name because that's dollar name. 
And then we're going to look to go and, again, find that Pokemon in that list of Pokemon. That's going to return out that data that we're going to then bring into the page using use lo loader data. And then we're going to put it into the div using uh, JSON Springify. So let's take a look and see how this works. Hey, all right, there we go. So we've got an Ivysaur, type grass poison. Excellent. Okay, good. Now I want to put a nice title on the page. So let's export the meta function. So this meta function gets called once we have that data, once the loader function has been done, and we can return parts of the meta tags and the head that we want. Yeah, I guess you can define all this stuff for yourself if you have extra stuff that you want to add in there, like SEO tags and whatnot. All right, so let's make this a little prettier. Obviously, we don't just want to see a JSON stringify, so let's paste in something that gives us that image. All right, cool. I guess that's what an Ivysaur looks like. So now we need this set of attributes over here. And to get those, we look back in the data. We actually have a list of like HP attack and all that. So we're just going to map that into an object using use memo. So we look at data and when data changes, we create attributes. In this case, attributes is just an object with keys and then the values. So let's bring in use memo. All right, that's good. Refreshes just fine. And then let's bring in a big old blob of HTML to render out that beautiful table. Let's take a look at table and all that. Again, nice tailwind stuff. And ah, oh, that's mwah, gorgeous. Love it. All right, so the only thing missing now is that this is now Pokemon and we have no breadcrumb trail. So let's go back over to our root and see if we can fix that. We are going to be able to fix that by bringing in use params. And then down in our layout, I'm going to use use params. I'm not sure if this is the right way to do this, but this is what I came up with last night. So that's what you're going to get. <laughs> Are you serious? And then down here in this LI, I'm going to go and create another LI if we have a name and just put the name in there. Nice little kind of grayed out text, I guess. That's fine. And then if we have a name, then we'll use it. Otherwise, we'll put in Pokemon. And there we go. We got Ivysaur. And you can see how fast this is developed, right? I mean, these pages are coming up just super fast. So let's go back out of the home. All right, there you go. So all of this code again available to you in GitHub. So enjoy that. So there's some things that I like to talk about after having looked at all this. So I do enjoy the philosophy that they have around this, and that's enumerated on this page. So essentially what they're trying to say, I think, here is that they're kind of going back to a more traditional approach to building HTML pages. We're going to use form again. We're going to kind of reduce the amount of JavaScript on the page. You know, we're not going to over abstract the underlying technologies. And I think that's actually, well, maybe that's revolutionary given the past few years of React development. But I think it's what a lot of folks are looking for. So I'm happy to see it. So one of the things that I think is really cool about Remix, but I actually haven't touched on in this demo, is actions. And this isn't like Redux actions. This is an entirely different thing. So you've got a form method in here, and it posts to itself. That runs this action function, which then can redirect to another page. There's a whole bunch of status around it. It is very old school style web development. And I'm kind of happy to see it back. But the reason that I want to do a whole video on it is I think it is entirely alien to anybody who's just been doing React over the past five years or so, since we are so used to just posting Ajax requests to manage and, and mutate data on the server. We're not used to doing this kind of form redirect flow we used to do back in the day. So I'm going to do a whole video just on that once I get that content created. Of course, in the meantime, if you have any questions or comments, which I'm sure you do, be sure to put those in the comments section down below. Hopefully, I can answer them, but I'm sure there are other folks, maybe Ken C. Dobbs, who can answer them a little bit better than I can, certainly. Oh, that, uh, that went well. Uh, in the meantime, of course, if you like the video, hit that like button. And if you really like the video, hit the subscribe button, click on that bell, and you'll be notified the next time a new blue collar coder comes out.